Okay, this will be an interesting one. If we can make it look good. I know this one's going to be a large one. To it, we've got to make it large. It's, it's actually a small original, of course. What I meant was the enlargement was going to be big. So I'm just going to make this one look good as a negative image. I wonder what background colour we're going to give this. Is it going to be blue, cyan? Going to make it cyan. I don't know how this is going to work, if it's going to work with that. Don't know how this is going to look. Going to have to probably make some adjustments through this demo. We might have to make a master copy for this. This one's an interesting one. Okay, we're just going to make it all like that. And right, let's get our original out. I found it on the ground. It is a chup chups. It looks like a blueberry or something flavored um chopper chops so we're just going to put that in the corner on the glass and see what we can get see if we can make it look good okay Okay, out it comes. Let's see how we've made it look. Whoa, it's nice and colourful. That's really what I like. I like the colours in that. So now we're going to make this into a master copy and we're going to enlarge it. But I can see you've got the detail with the, with the cyan. It looks good. So we can't whinge about that result. We might have to just... I was thinking we're a bit too close, not close enough to the edge there, but we can do that. With, our master, with that master copy that we've just made. So we're just going to go... Uh, how big are we going to set it? It's going to be an interesting one. So we're going here and we're going to make it on the long... I don't know if I'm doing this at the right time. So we're going to make the horizontal into 200. Oops, input error stuff that I'm going to make it 180 in the vertical it's going to be 104 so I don't know if that's going to look any good um, we're just going to rattle through and make our change our adjustments to all to be accepting a positive to make this into a positive of this so we're just going to turn off these settings and maybe the red I'm going to make it not all the way in the hue I'm going to center it I think we've got the sharpness we're not touching that I don't know why I did that okay let's see what we can do with our we'll just take our original off and this will go to the bin to the rubbish and we're just going to go and use this lovely master copy that we've made so we're going to put that up in the top corner and we're going to overlap the edges especially along the top we're going to overlap especially at the top of the page and just a little there so we're just overlapping here and here and now we're just gonna see what we can get so i'm thinking maybe 104 is not big enough for the vertical somehow because of the amount of overlapping I'm doing so we're going to have to make this a bit bigger so we're going to make it we're going to go 110 for that so let's see if we can make this turn up really nice through extra editing and shit it's going to be distorted but that's all right it's good it's all good. <laughs> so hopefully this will look really nice. Hopefully I've made a good job of it. Oh wow, that looks nice. And the colours are just absolutely exquisite. I'm thinking it'll look nicer if we had more vertical. So that'll look really good. The colours are just... Mm. 
nice, almost kissable. Unfortunately, the toner is bubbling a bit there. I can feel just a bit, bit of roughness on there. That sometimes happens with this silly machine. So now we're just going to go. We're going to make the Y axis taller. So we're going to make this one. We're going to make this one a hundred. We're also going 180, so we're gonna, it's not going to have any any more distortion. So let's see how this turns out. Just got to, it takes a couple of goes to get it right, but the colours look good. I'm really impressed with the colours on this. I wasn't sure if it was going to look that good because it was really dark as an original, but now we've got most of it in like that. So we're just going to put our first one away, and we're going to turn this into a mirror image. I think that's going to be the center of our job to make it look nice. So wondering if we're going to do any more, if we're going to enlarge any more. We're just going to leave it and we're just going to continue. Out it comes. So let's see how this looks as our second piece. Well, this is really psychedelic, the colours in this. It's amazing how some originals that don't look all that good can really come up a treat when you get when you get a good handle on what, what you're doing with your machine. So you don't always get it. Sometimes you sometimes good originals get mucked up. And but this one turned out really nice. I just can't believe how how nice and colourful this is. But, you know. So let's see how we go with that. So this chop chops looks really good. Better than I expected. Way better. <laughs> and even the cyan is looking more green, but there is cyan there it's like there's more of the bluey color there and it looks good it looks great so now we just have to carefully line up the pieces to make it into a nice uh, presentation because presentation is very important in this we try to make it as good as possible <laughs> when it doesn't always turn out that way so let's see how this looks. It's a little bit curly. It's a little bit challenging trying to get these to line up nicely, but I think that looks really nice, really psychedelic. I think now we can call this demo quits.